the touchdown. Here's Anderson to kick it away. Fields this way up at the 17. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So, Charles, as mentioned, we've got another Coach Madden over here on the AFC sideline. Of course, his Raiders, members of the AFC West. So this is a conference he battled in for his entire career. And you think about the landscape of the NFL as he was getting into the back half of his tenure. It was a golden era for coaches. You had Don Shula, Tom Landry, Chuck Knoll, Bud Grant. But it was John Madden who had the best winning percentage of them all, CD. 759, the best ever. Brandon, it's hard to believe he could be so successful in a conference with all those great teams. The Steelers won. The Dolphins won two and were a mainstay in the playoffs. The Colts were That's tough. Good. The Broncos came out late and went to the Super Bowl themselves. But against Hall of Fame coaches, John Madden's record, 36, oh, 16, and two. That's pretty incredible. His Raiders were a factor each and every year. Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Here's Allen. Right, he'll be dropped at the 30. And a shifty move got him a couple extra on the play. One quarter in the books at the Coliseum. What a day. The NFC stars with the early lead in the John Madden Legacy game on EA Sports. The AFC with the football here to begin the second quarter as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. And 
They stay on the ground with Allen. Charles, you talked about John Madden and the Raiders going on a ride. Well, try these numbers on for size. So 10 seasons as a head coach, the Raiders won their division seven times. They finished second the other three times, and he became the youngest coach to amass 100 career regular season victories and is still, to this day, the franchise leader in wins. And when you think about it, that's where that rivalry with Kansas City really took root, as did the expression commitment to excellence. And boy, was it personified by the players who played for Coach Madden. On offense, how about quarterback Kenny Stable, wide receiver Cliff Branch, wide receiver Fred Bolitnikoff, tight end Dave Casper, to name a few. How about those great linemen he had? Center Jim Otto, guard Gene Upshaw, tackle Art Shell, all of them. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown! Just a fantastic punt return of 80 yards. And the NFC strikes quickly for six. And you got a guy that fast back there to receive punts? That's a nightmare for the guy game planning, the special teams coach. It's also a nightmare for the punter. Sometimes they get so nervous that they miss hit the ball and kick it right to them. Anderson on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. That's no secret. That's why they have him return punts. He has the capability to take him back, and he did so there. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. Taken from about the 12. And able to get this out to the 25. The AFC making their way out, and it's one of Coach's favorites. Another local guy, Tom Brady, who will be at the controls. And boy, Coach always admired the way number 12 could run an offense, and especially his ability to stay calm under pressure. Tom Brady is a guy who's always looking downfield. He never looks at the rush. He hangs in the pocket, and he makes a throw. He's a cool guy. He's a tough guy. Let me tell you, there's no one calmer in the pocket than Tom Brady. And I know that Coach has a great appreciation for Tom Brady. He turned 45 back on August 3rd because Coach coached a guy like him in uh, George Banda, who played a long time in the NFL. In this game, it features legends and active players. Tom Brady qualifies as both. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Charles, you think about all the success that John Madden had as an NFL head coach, and he had plenty, and we talked about it, including the 10 straight winning seasons, a Super Bowl title. But like any great coach, he also suffered through a few tough losses along the way as well. And Brandon, those tough losses came in high-stakes games because they always had such great success. Think about it this way. Six times in his 10 years, the Raiders were knocked out near the AFL championship game or the AFC championship game. There might be a divisional round exit. That's the one that bothered him most of all. Three River Stadium, December 1972. Yes, the Immaculate Reception game. Franco Harris grabbing the ball that was deflected. Almost at his shoe tops, he picked it up and took it in for a game-winning score to give the Steelers a 13-7 victory. And partner, anyone who loves black and silver still doesn't believe that ball hit anyone in black and silver that day, and that play should never have counted. Now Allen, and that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. Hey, we want to let you know, give you a fair warning, that coming up at halftime, the folks at EA Sports have put together a very nice package in tribute to Coach Madden. So make sure you stick around for that. Again, coming up at... And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And it's scooped up by the NFC. And he will take this back. A fumble return for an NFC touchdown. 
Well, Charles, not only did they fumble the football, but they're starting to fumble away their chances here a little bit. We've got a three-score ball game now here in the first half. And the last thing you want to do, partner, is help the other team with what are avoidable turnovers. You want to hang on to the football because you're already playing against a good team. You're just making it easier for them by giving them extra opportunities. Extra point by Anderson, up and good. And that makes the score 21 to zip. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. No run back here for Hall, and this will come out to the 25. Well, the AFC offense heading back out. You know, Charles, 